Are we ready to go explore Bratislava? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Slovakia. We've arrived to Bratislava, which is Slovakia's capital city. And we have 24 hours to visit, see, and eat as much as we possibly can. We're James and Alex, and we are on a European tour, ticking off new countries, exploring everything there is to see, do, and eat. We'd love for you to stick around so we can take you along for the journey. Ooh, I smell like a hearty soup. That's like goulash. You do love a soup in Central Europe. <laughs> currently walking down what was known as Executioner Alley. Now, this alley, once upon a time, was where the resident executioner lived in Bratislava, who carried out all of the executions. <laughs> now, apparently, we are close to where he actually used to live, which is just coming up on the left-hand side. I think we found his old residence. The ironic thing is, I think it's now a massage I bar. Know. <laughs> a quite nice one at that. Christmas markets! So if you didn't know, Bratislava is known for its famous Christmas markets held in the Old Town. If you haven't seen our previous vlog, we covered our experience eating and drinking our body weight in local food and mulled wine. So much! Cappuccino, one euro 45. Going there after. <laughs> I think we may have found the blue church. And I think we are being ripped off with our cappuccinos in the morning. We paid five euros one day, four euros fifty on another, and we've just walked past a sign that says one euro forty-five. <laughs> this has got to be the prettiest church I've ever seen in Europe. And we've seen a lot of pretty cool churches, but it looks like a Disneyland church or something. It's blue! <laughs> it's amazing! You can't say that you've seen the blue church, you have to physically touch it. Woo! It's concrete. <laughs> so if you do want to actually go inside the blue church, you've got to be pretty organised. It hasn't quite worked with our schedule today, but to be honest, it seems like the outside is maybe the coolest part. You'll have to tell us if you've been inside. So to be able to just see it is pretty awesome. What I love is the attention to detail. So all the dark blue you see around the whole church is actually tiny mosaic tiles carefully placed all the way through the individual blocks. It's architectural magic. Church bells again! <laughs> Why do we always have to time it so we are in front of a church when the bells go off? <laughs> they know how much I love it and how emotional it makes me. They just want to see a tear come out of my eye. <laughs> get some Slovakian food. This is very cool. We just ordered a litre of beer and it only cost us four euros fifty. Cheers. <laughs> this is just for me. That's nice. It's a it smells very garlicky but very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like what you imagine like a creamy chicken soup to taste like but it's just pure garlic. It's so tasty. The longer you leave it, it soaks into the inside of the cob and you can literally scrape away the inside of the bread like that and it's just melts in your mouth. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, like as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Over here we've got dumplings with cabbage and bacon. This one is dumplings with sheep's cheese and bacon. And then the middle one is 
I think another dumplings with another sheep cheese and another bacon. They all taste quite similar, these two do anyway. They're all very, very good, but very, very filling. So make sure you order appropriately because we're gonna be full after a few more mouthfuls. Right, I'm gonna try one of these, which is, I think, potato dumpling. I have no idea what's in the middle. It smells good though. That's really cheesy. <laughs> This street is so cute. And you can just see the castle in the background as well. Oh, there's a craft bit in there. Maybe APA, IPA, Napa, General, Tiernik, and lots of other local Slovak beers. Oh, an Aperol Spritz. Oh, it's got a whiff of something smelly. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> What we are finding with Bratislava, especially the old town, is that the streets are all so cute, so small and so walkable. So to be able to get around and find your way, it's pretty easy. So the street we find ourselves on now is Kapitushka, which dates back to like the 13th or 14th century. This really is kind of like your picture postcard, perfect place. So like many cities in Europe, one of the best things to see are the iconic churches like St. Martin's behind us. The question we have, where is everyone? There's no one here. It's just Alex and I, so we are going to bask in its beauty. This has so much history. This goes back to like the 14th century. There were 11 Hungarian kings and 8 Hungarian queens crowned here, just behind us. And if you are interested, you can actually do an audio tour and they have it in multiple languages. And also, there seems to be no admission fee, so let's go inside. dead end so we've got to go through this very sketchy looking building to let's, get to the castle. Let's go. I see a sign. It's promising. Oh yeah. Oh look. Are you a boat building? <laughs> oh yeah. I love these cobbled stone paving slabs. It feels really old and medieval. So some of our first impressions of Bratislava, all the attractions seem to be relatively close together, more so relevant in terms of the old town. Like we've walked around the past few hours and I feel like we've seen so much. Whereas when we were in Budapest, we felt like we had to jump on the train or the tram or jump on a bus to get from certain attractions, which whilst that's fine to explore, you can easily do Bratislava in probably a couple days. So we've made it to Bratislava Castle, which with the amount of steps there just were, felt like an eternity. But if we were cold, we are definitely not cold anymore. So we're gonna go through this gate as we think this is the entrance in and get a better look at the castle from inside. Oh, wait, it says no pets allowed. You're not allowed to go in, Alex. <laughs> Ooh. So the Bratislava Castle has been inhabited since the late Stone Age. Its first written record dates back to the year 907 AD. So I think we are here at the moment. So let's go inside. Whoa. Quite impressive, isn't it? It's starting to rain. And yet again, the bells are ringing for us. Just for me. <laughs> Just for Alex, apparently. Can't see over the top. I wasn't expecting that to be so high. <laughs> Oh, I can see, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna get Alex the yellow pages. <laughs> and yes guys, Bratislava has its very own resident UFO standing tall on this single pylon bridge, which apparently is the longest single pylon bridge in the world. That right there is actually a bar that you can go up in one of the legs that takes you all the way to the top and gives you beautiful views of Bratislava. <laughs> We are officially in the heart of the castle. So we were reading up a little bit about this castle before we came here. I can't believe this actually dates back to the 9th century and it burnt down in the 1850s. Now I don't know how much of it burnt down, maybe just part of it. It stood for 150 years, just half in ruins and was only renovated in the 1950s. So I guess that's why part of it looks so new. But yeah, it's really, really interesting history. 
So on one side of the castle, you've got views right out over the Danube River as well, which is really weird because we did a cruise on this last night in Budapest. So it's weird to be now back at the river, but in Slovakia. To finish off the day in Bratislava, of course, we had to head back into town to grab some dinner. We had heard good things about Urban, which is located just on the high street in the old town. The inside was such a vibe and it probably had the best toilets we've ever seen. They specialise in lots of different craft beer, which is right up our street. We also grabbed a couple burgers, which were absolutely divine. We'd give this place a 9 out of 10. This wow. Urban burger, this is the Korean fried chicken. Amazing. Here we go with the truffle Wonderful. fries and chipotle mayo. Enjoy. Thank you so much. So if you do want to go cheap, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go cheap.